Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to change the batteries on a mobility scooter. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. In this case, there are a few steps that you need to do here to probably change your batteries. So first is you need to gather your supplies. So first you'll need a couple of things before we dive in. So make sure you have two new batteries that fit your scooter and check the size and voltage to ensure they're compatible. You also need some spanners or wrenches for the nuts and bolts that comes with the new batteries. It's handy to have a small container nearby to keep any nuts and bolts secure. Next is you'll get started by removing the seat. Look for a lever on the side of the seat. Lift it that to detach it and if your scooter has a support column, you need to unscrew the bolt and pull out the pin holding it in place. For some models, the center column might already be attached, so just focus on getting that seat off. Now once the seat is off, you'll see the rear call cowling, which is the plastic cover at the back of the scooter. Gently lift it off and set it aside. This will give you access to the batteries. Now, before we disconnect the batteries, make sure your scooter is powered off to avoid any electrical mishap, mishaps. Carefully disconnect the batteries from the scooter's electrics. You may need to peel off any Velcro straps that hold the batteries in place. Take note of how the wires are connected. This will help you when you are, in this case, hooking up the new ones. Now, when it's good or it's also a good idea to lift the old batteries to a comfortable height if possible. This will make it easier to handle the next steps without straining your back. Now, from then on, go ahead and take out the old batteries. Use your spanners to undo the bolts from the battery terminal. Disconnect the wiring, keep track of which, in this case, terminal is which, red for positive and black for negative, to avoid confusion later. Now, it's time for the new batteries, so place them into the battery compartment, reconnect the wires to the appropriate terminals, red to red and black to black. Make sure that those connections are tight and secure to prevent any issues down the line. Now once the new batteries are connected, place them back into the scooter. Reattach the scooter's electrics to the batteries and secure everything with the Velcro strap to keep them firmly in place. Now in this case, let's put uh, the rear cowling back on the scooter. Now ensure it fits snugly and if you remove the support column earlier, reattach it that as well, securing it with the bolt and pin. Now, finally, place the seat back into the scooter. Make sure it locks into place properly so that it secures when you're using it. Now, once you finish all those steps, power on your ability scooter to see if everything works correctly. Take it for a short test ride to check the new batteries are functioning as they should. If anything seems off or the scooter doesn't power on, double check your connection to make sure everything is secure. And that's about it. So, hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.